Hello, I'm David Wilby. I'm a research software engineer at the University of Sheffield, and this is my screencast application for a 2022 Software Sustainability Institute Fellowship. To start with, a little bit about me. I studied physics at the University of Bath with a year at the Rutherford Appleton Laboratory working in microelectronics. Following my degree, I spent a year with the Bristol Centre for Functional Nanomaterials Doctoral Training Centre at the University of Bristol, receiving a broad interdisciplinary training in research across physics, chemistry, engineering and biology, and some work with industrial research and development. Before undertaking a PhD, in which, amongst several projects, I wrote numerical simulations to study the photoreceptors in the retina of birds. I then took the cycle to work scheme too seriously, and I rode my bike to Sweden, where I spent some time at Lund University building optical instruments and learning about animal behaviour. Before returning to Bristol to put that into practice studying hermit crabs, as well as carrying on with photoreceptor optics. After that, I started remote working before everyone was doing it, I lived in New Zealand for a couple of years where I also worked with colleagues at Lund and Stockholm universities in Sweden on simulating the visual systems of insects using MATLAB. So since 2019 I've been a research software engineer at the University of Sheffield and since then I've been working as a developer on numerous research projects including Python packaging, containerization of natural language processing analysis tools, working with the UK government's Joint Biosecurity Centre on reproducibility in COVID-19 modelling, and building web apps to expose analysis methods, including running simulations on request from GPU-enabled HPC systems. And during the first wave of the COVID-19 pandemic, I was part of a team working with the first draft fact-checking organisation, building a web app to perform analysis and demonstrate the proof of principle for a new type of analysis on visualising supply and demand of fact-checks on COVID-19 misinformation. Recently, I've been building a MATLAB-based app as a medical device proof of principle. Throughout all of these projects, I've supported my collaborators with software project management and passed on best practice in software development. I've also been delivering training, including leading workshops on software carpentry with Python, software engineering best practice with Python as well, and using Git from the command line, as well as supporting my colleagues with training in R, HPC, Git, and GitHub. I've also been part of the team building the research software community at Sheffield, and we've been writing blogs, putting out newsletters, and running a series of friendly research software seminars called Lunch Bites, which recently I ran as a satellite event to the September RSE Remote Research Software Engineering Conference. Recently, I've also had the opportunity to train with engineers at MathWorks, the developers of MATLAB, and learn more about the facilities for software testing within MATLAB, which I'm currently able to employ in the research software that I'm developing. So here's the motivation for my fellowship. MATLAB is a really popular language in research, and it's used widely due to its user-friendly syntax and integrated development environment, and simply because researchers have some familiarity with it or because their colleagues already use it. At present, MathWorks, the developers of MATLAB, report that there are over 4 million publications of Google Scholar that reference MATLAB and its partner package Simulink. There are over 100 UK universities with campus-wide licences for MATLAB, including all 24 Russell Group universities, and at Sheffield alone, the estimated number of users is over 12,000 although this doesn't differentiate between taught students and researchers yet. In comparison to open source language communities in research such as in R and Python, the MATLAB user community is particularly distinct from others because the methods and tools required are often provided within the MATLAB ecosystem itself. However, this means that there is some room for improvement in the methodologies for reproducible research in MATLAB. And while sometimes MATLAB can be the subject of derision from software engineers, it seems here to stay in the research community, and we really should support its best use. Now, what's the plan for my fellowship? I'm going to develop guidance and training materials for sustainable research software practices in MATLAB. And this is with the goal of further enabling the large community of researchers who use MATLAB to produce more sustainable and reproducible research software. Firstly, I'll conduct surveys to identify user need, not just among the most literate users, but hopefully a representative sample of researchers who use MATLAB. I'll also undertake the Software Carpentries Instructor Training. I want to develop my skills in the pedagogy of software training so that I can deliver the best possible education to the people that I work with. Primarily, I'll be developing training materials on best practice and reproducible methods in MATLAB, and these will include on version control, testing, documentation, environment and dependency management, and also software design. Alongside this, I'll write blog posts and develop videos. I understand that different people learn differently from one another, and that by making the same concepts available in different media, I can reach a larger community of researchers. I'll also continue to organise seminars and discussion groups around best practice in MATLAB at Sheffield and more widely. 
and I'll also engage in dialogue with MathWorks as to the needs and feedback of the research user community, and I've already been in discussion with them about this. I'll measure the impact of these activities by gathering feedback from trainees at training sessions, and also measuring the numbers of views of web pages and videos that I produce. So why me? I already have extensive experience as a researcher using MATLAB, so I understand the perspectives of researchers. But now I also have experience as a software developer and as a trainer, so I can combine those perspectives to provide the best possible results for researchers. And what support is available for me? Well, I'm fully supported in my application by the RSE team at the University of Sheffield, and sufficient time will be made available for me to conduct my fellowship activities. Thank you very much for listening.